Problem number 19. Find the distance from the point 1, 1, 1 to the line x is equal to 2t, y is equal to 3 plus 2t, z is equal to negative 5 plus t, and the plane 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 4. Okay, so the, for the first part here, we need the following formula. d is equal to uh, the magnitude of ps cross v over magnitude of v, where v is a direction vector for our line, and S is the point, this one, P is any point on the line. So uh, to find a direction vector, to find a direction vector, we just need the coefficients of T in the X, Y, Z equation. So two, two, and one. For P, P can be any point on the line. We just have to substitute in the value of T here. I think it's easiest if we do T is equal to zero, but you might choose something else. So we substitute in T is equal to zero. We get zero, three, and negative five. And so then at this point to find vector PS, we do the entries of S minus the entries of, of P. One minus zero is one. One minus three is negative two. 1 minus negative 5 is 6. Okay, so at this point then, we just need to do PS cross product with V. I hat, J hat, K hat. PS is 1, negative 2, 6. V is 2, 2, 1. So we end up with I hat times minus 2, minus 12 is minus 14 minus j hat times one minus 12 is minus 11, plus k hat times two plus uh, four is going to be six. So this is negative 14, 11, and six. As always, it, it, it can be good practice here to check that if you do the cross product dotted with each of PS and with V, uh, check that, yes, you do get zero in each of those cases. Okay, so at this point then, yeah, okay, we have the cross product here. Uh, we need the magnitude of the cross product and the magnitude of V. So the magnitude of V here is going to be square root of two squared plus two squared plus one squared square root of nine is three. And the magnitude of the cross product is going to be square root of negative 14 squared plus 11 squared plus six squared. That is going to be what? 196 plus 121 plus 36. That is going to be, um, let's see here. You know what? I don't feel like doing the mental arithmetic. I've made lots of these videos by now. I'm just going to leave it unsimplified because that is fine. Maybe that simplifies, maybe not. I just made this problem up on a spot. There's our answer. This is the distance from this point to this line. Okay, to find the distance from this point to this plane here, there's another uh, formula that we need. D is equal to, the distance is the absolute value of direction of ps dot n, all of that divided by the length of the normal vector. So in this case, um, n is the normal vector to our plane, and we find a normal vector just by reading off the coefficients here of x, y, and z, 2, 1, and 2. P uh, can be any point on the plane. I'm just going to plug in, if I make X and Y both zero, if I make X and Y both zero, two Z is equal to four, that is Z is equal to two. You could, you could have picked many other points on the plane. I just had to pick one. Once again, S is the point one, one, one. So a vector from P to S, is going to be um, 
1, 1, and negative 1. Okay, so now we need the dot product here of ps dot with n, and so that's going to be 2 plus 1 minus 2 is 1, and the magnitude of n is going to be 3. And so our final answer is the absolute value of 1 over 3, which is just 1 third. So the absolute value bars are there because um, it's possible that like the dot product ends up being negative, but we don't want there to be a negative distance. We want the distance to always be positive. Okay, so that is how we do problem 19.